We are Suzy and Rose. That's short for Roland, by the way. Enchanté. Follow our lives renovating a 15th century chateau and citadel. Together with our rescue fur babies, Big Baxter, Mad Max and little Lexi, our beaver. Welcome back everyone, another week, another vlog. <laughs> right, last time we left you, there was a question mark over this beam. Uh, if you remember, it's the first one above the fireplace, so it was really dark and smoky, even after cleaning it. Well, as you can see from the before and the after, I gave it another clean, and it's come up really, really lovely, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, yeah, it was worth doing. It didn't take long, actually, because uh, most of the hard work was done on the first clean, so I'm really pleased with that. And as you've just seen, I've done one or two more. Um, I'm working my way that way. Um, and I'm going to start working my way back the other way at some point. So, slow but sure, getting there. And um, you've just seen um, the tarpaulin hanging down and going into the bin. Um, well, that's taking all the water away. So I've got absolutely no mess on the floor now, which means the dogs can wander in and out without um, having to lock them out of the room. Uh, they can wander over, you know, because before they were trying to get in the room and... You know, there's bicarbonate soda, there's bleach, there's vinegar in that stuff. And although it's diluted, I didn't want them wandering in here. And of course, dogs being dogs, as soon as you lock them out of a room, whether they want to go in or not is immaterial. But the fact that you've locked them out means that they definitely want to come in. And so they're scratching at the door. And, uh, so this way, they're free to roam. And I'm not having to clear up afterwards. And that is making things much easier for me because it means now I can hang the tarpaulin up uh, which takes no more than a minute, just a little bit of tape. And I can start a beam, even if that beam takes me three or four hours, I can just wander in and out, I can spray the bicarb on, go away, go away for half hour, come back, you know, and just keep working like that. And I haven't got to worry about the clear up afterwards, so it's going to make it a lot more flexible for me. Um, because one of the problems I've got is... Um, you know, finding the time to do three or four beams in one hit. You know, I'm always distracted by something else and pulled off one job to do something else that comes up. Oh, we've got to go out, blah, 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 and all that sort of stuff. So I can just literally think, right, I've got half hour, I'm going to start a beam, and then I can leave it, and then three hours later I can do the next bit. It doesn't matter. So it should help me get a bit more done, a bit, bit, bit quicker. So, uh, so that's what uh, I'm going to carry on doing. And um, in between that drying time and soaking in time, I'll be out of the workshop just having another little tidy there. corner and I hate it um, but I love this cupboard so I thought if I just put an undercoat on it for now um, so I can see what I'm looking at I took out there was a load of screws um, nails in the back of it they'd obviously had some panelling what well, looks like paper on here um, so I've done that one I've got to paint the inside of it but these these hinges are all rusted, so we need to get some new ones. And they always seem to put the hinges on the outside instead of doing it properly. So this door actually needs to go up a quarter of an inch because it doesn't shut properly. It's, I don't know whether it's dropped or they didn't fit it properly. It's, it's quite a, a crude frame. It's just literally bits of wood joined together here. Um, but we'll tackle that later we, I just want to brighten it up a bit um, this I thought this was going to be wood that I could sand and wax but it's actually a metal bar and it's concrete here but it's all dirty and pitted so that needs leveling up so that's the project for today
needs its, well, contemplation space, its thought space, where we can plan things. You know, doodle a few plans and scribble a few designs. So, I think that's where this table should stay. But one or two of you seem to think that Susie could make better use of this desk. Kay in Australia, for example, who thinks this would make a nice little sewing table. Susie could put all her sewing bits in there and do what she does when she's sewing. Now, obviously, that's what the kitchen table is for. Not this. So, 10 out of 10 for effort, Kay. But you are wrong. This is a workshop desk. Okay, I've just had a look at the bit video that Rolls has done and I've got a much better desk than this actually. I'll show you later. <clears throat> but he's not keeping the chair. The chair's only in here because it needs gluing. It's a bit rickety. So I'm going to have that. But he can keep the desk. Well, we've just had a rest from... Uh beams and workshops and painting uh, to just clear up the final conkers so we're just going to do that now uh, don't worry we're not going to show you any time lapses of that I think you've seen us <laughs> clearing enough conkers uh, but I was only saying to Susie you know it's it's quite symbolic this conquer and this process and the reason is because it was this time last year, Susie first fell ill and uh, she was laid up for a couple of weeks. Uh, she'd get up and then feel okay and then later in the day have to go to bed because she was tired and we'd go shopping and she'd have to go and sit in the car because she got tired and she, she just didn't feel right and it was a couple of weeks, it was really out of character. and. It was our silver wedding anniversary and on that day I said to Susie come on we've got to sort this out we've got to go to the doctor and so I phoned the doctor and and he said well come and see me in the morning um, eight o'clock okay so that night our, our wedding anniversary we you know there was no celebrations we knew something wasn't right um, so it was just a quiet night and we both had an early night and Got up next morning, at, uh, left here at 20 to 8, got to the doctor at 8. By 9 o'clock, we are at the hospital. By 11 o'clock, Susie was in the MRI scanner. And by 2 o'clock, they confirmed cancer. So it was very quick. And of course, for the next seven weeks, she was in hospital and I had to drive drive to Poitiers every day for seven weeks and that's an hour and 20 minutes away and then when she came home Rob and I had to carry her in the house she couldn't walk and she was laid up for two months and of course I became a full-time carer so what's that got to do with conkers I hear you say well we didn't start the process of clearing these conkers until March March this year so when spring came and this kind of tells us how far we've come this last few months because here we are late October and we've virtually finished the process of clearing the conkers and that's why it's symbolic it's 
tells us that we're actually getting ahead of ourselves. We've caught up, we've spent all year catching up. And I guess our big disappointment this year was the potager. Because last year, our first year, we were self-sufficient in vegetables within four or five months. Whereas this year, we grew some, but nothing like last year. So we're looking forward to, to next spring and, and the winter even, getting out here, preparing the potager and just doing all the things that we need doing. And this conquer represents that symbolism that we, we've caught up, we've come a long way. And not just me, Susie's, she's come a long, long way. You can hear the mower in the background. She's mowing, uh, funny enough, the potager as we speak. So who'd have thought a humble little conquer could mean so much to us? But it really does. It's it's progress. We're moving forward and we can be a bit more positive. Um, we don't know what the future is. I think we've said before, her condition's not curable, but it's treatable. And as long as they can keep on top of it, we can move forward. We can be positive. Hmm. Who'd have thought? Simple little conquer. Well here we are late October and we have lots of flowers still in bloom so we've put a little compilation together and we'll show you that at the end of today's vlog. minutes half hour doesn't really matter you can leave it for longer it doesn't really matter uh, but I'll give it a minimum 20 minutes half hour so I'll go back out to the workshop but um, before I go I'd like to take the opportunity to thank um, a few of you because um, we've been bought some coffees again this week and it's it's um, it's a really wonderful thing it's a real lifeline for us because uh, it's giving us it's giving us a bit of positivity and um, there was a time when we didn't think we'd be able to stay here with our business plans in tatters, etc. And uh, all these coffees make a contribution. You know, we, we do buy stuff for the place with it. We don't spend it on our lifestyle or anything like that. Um, so I'd like to thank Dave, who was very generous. He bought us 10 coffees. Um, yeah, thanks, Dave. It's just tremendous. And Brian and Kathy, um, you hear them every, you hear their name every week. Uh, they're, they're lovely. We, we do correspond and they're, they're very nice people, they're really lovely people, and uh, they bought us some coffees again. And that's just wonderful, so thank you. And Roz, uh, Roz who regularly comments on our vlogs, and I know she loves watching us, so she's bought us some coffees, so thank you, Roz. And Grandma Sharon, you've heard her name before. Um, Grandma Sharon, she's a lovely lady, she's bought us some coffees again, so thank you all. Um, you are making a difference, thank you. Uh, Susan, I really appreciate it. Um, and it does go into this place. So thank you very much. You're all very generous, very kind.
Well, it's uh, wait and see now. Giving it a good clean as per usual. So hopefully uh, that'll come up nice. Uh, be interested to see it in the morning really when it's really dried out. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got a visitor tomorrow who's coming for lunch. And uh, this place looks like a building site. So better have a clean up. And it's a lady called Muriel. And you may recall a few uh, weeks ago, she invited us to her place. She's recently moved here from America. She's been watching our vlogs for quite some time. And uh, she invited us for lunch at her place, which um, happens to be a chateau. So uh, she's keen to come here and see this. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure she'll be keen to have lunch in this room right at the very moment, but uh, it'll look lovely tomorrow. So, better call it a day. Thank you. Susie's still out there mowing. Uh, we're going to lose the light in a minute, so I'm going to pack this one up. Uh, but thank you to everybody who's um, watched, and thank you to all our new subscribers. And, of course, all of you who have been watching from the start. Um, really appreciate it. Um, the comments, you know, we've, we're still answering every comment and uh, we're getting a lot of lovely comments as usual. So keep those coming in. And thank you to all our Patreons um, that we did a video this week for them, uh, just doing that uh, first beam by the fireplace. Uh, we thank you for all your support and all of you who watch. And if you could do us one favour, click the subscribe button and press the notification bell. And then you won't miss any more of this. Why would you want to? But have a good week and we shall see you Wednesday. Bye. Chanté.